The number one goal for traders in 2024 and moving into 2025 is to get funded, to take a prop firm challenge, to get funded, and to make money. But unfortunately, most prop firms operate in secrecy. The question that we want to be talking about today is, well, how many traders actually pass these challenges? There's this idea that's pushed around in the trading community that only 10% of traders pass, that 90% of traders fail. But the question is, is that actually accurate? And if it is, what does that mean for you? How can you enter that top 10% of traders that actually make it? Well, today we're going to reveal some hidden stats and we're going to show you, unlike other firms, just how many traders actually pass a prop firm challenge. If you like these types of videos, subscribe to Pit Munch down below. It's the number one daily email for traders trusted by over 27,000 traders. And we first shared these statistics on there. So make sure you subscribe. Okay, so like I said, there's this idea that only 10% of traders actually pass their prop firm challenge. But we dove into the statistics. We've been around for over two years. So we have data on thousands and thousands of traders. And surprisingly, the average pass rate can actually be as low as 6% a month, all the way up to 15%. Now, this is quite a discrepancy. This is quite a swing. 6% is not looking very good for traders, but 15% is certainly on the higher side of things. Now, unsurprisingly, right smack in the middle of that is 10%. And so we are here to tell you that the idea that roughly only 10% of traders pass a prop firm challenge is in fact, unfortunately for traders, accurate. Now, you're watching this and you're probably discouraged. You're thinking, man, if I'm going to make money, I need to somehow be in the top 10%. But there's actually good news because yes, it is difficult to enter that top 10%. But for those that do, the payouts are absolutely insane. More specifically, the return on investment is actually insane. So before you click away, crying and disappointed, take a look at this. After doing a little bit of research, it turns out that the average payout is equivalent to 4% of the account's starting balance. Now for easy numbers sake, that means that if you are on a $10,000 account, the average payout size is $400. If you're on a $100,000 account, the average payout size is $4,000. Or if you're on the big boy account, $200,000, your average payout is going to be $8,000. Now, just from a sheer numbers perspective alone, that is fantastic. It's very motivating. But the most insane, mind-boggling part of all of this is that if you actually take these average payouts and you put it in relation to the cost of a challenge, the return on investment is absolutely insane. Just take a look at this. If you purchase a $5,000 account for around $75, that means the average payout of $200 represents a 266% return, which is just, I mean, there's no words that can, can, can really describe that. There's traders and investors around the world that just dream, that stay up at night dreaming of such a return. But it actually gets better, surprisingly, the larger the account size increases. So on a $10,000 account for $125, the average payout of $400 represents a return of 320%. Insane. $25,000 account for $225, the average payout represents a 444% return. Now, if we jump all the way up to, you know, a $100,000 cap for $525, you can even get it for less. You know, at, at Lark, our current three-step challenge with our current discount is about $320. So almost half of that price. It represents a return of 761%. And a $200,000 account, which again, you could get for less than $1,000, is an 800% return. And this is just absolutely mind-boggling. So if you are discouraged by the fact that roughly on average only 10% of traders pass, yes, that can be discouraging. It means that if you're going to pass, you need to do something that 9 out of 10 traders are not doing. And that's a difficult task and that can entail a whole variety of different things, whether it's your strategy, how much work you put in. There's a whole bunch of factors that you can play around with to try and enter that 10%. But if you can enter it, which again is a big if, it requires a ton of work, but if you can, the payouts, the return on investment are so massive that it makes it worth it. Now, if the average payout size was only half a percent of the account balance, if traders weren't receiving these huge payouts, all that effort probably wouldn't be worth it. In fact, when I first started trading and I was focused on trading a personal account, a small $500 account, in hindsight, trading that was pointless. Even if I made massive returns, a 200, 300% return, 
it was chump change. It wasn't enough money for the effort. And that could have been possible with prop firms too, which would have raised a discussion, well, is it even worth it? However, by the numbers alone, if you can enter that top 10%, it is in fact worth it. And that's why we pointed out in the email that there is literally, there's no better opportunity in the trading world right now than prop firms. It kind of blows our mind that there's still traders that aren't going all in on this opportunity. Now, again, that does not mean that it's easy. Unlike most prop firms, we are here to tell you that it is difficult. It is hard to pass. But the flip side of that is a lot of traders don't take it seriously. A lot of traders don't go all in and they don't treat it like the profession that it really is. And so if you're going to enter the top 10%, you have to do something different. But based on the data, don't trust a, a Forex guru with neck tattoos. Trust the data and the data suggests that it is 100% worth it and the return on investments are absolutely wild. If you made it this far, we appreciate you. We will see you in the next one. And until then, peace.